Chef, nice to meet you. Hello, Seth. Very nice to meet you. It smells great in this kitchen. Uh, what are you making today? I'm going to show you today how to make like a traditional German Jägerschnitzel. Well, I've had plenty of schnitzel before, but I don't know about Jägerschnitzel. Uh, what is that? Well, the Jäger schnitzel means like uh, the hunter schnitzel. You go in the forest and shoot some deer or wild boar. You use like the bones and everything to make a demi glace and uh, the fresh ingredients like the herbs, uh, the mushrooms, some cream from your cows. All right, so this is just a rustic kind of country German dish right here? Yes, it absolutely is. So how do you get started here? I will turn uh, on the fire now and put in some butter, you know. Butter is like the most important thing in German kitchen. Then you add some seasonal mushrooms some onions, add a little bit more butter on it. Butter is always good for you. <laughs> I love butter. So you will add some pepper, some salt. I'm so sorry the hood is coming on, you know, but it's a kitchen right we're, we're, here. We're cooking, we're cooking. So then you have your demi glass. Uh, I can tell how nicely reduced that stock is. It's already so syrupy in this pan right here. It is. And the demi glace takes like really two days to cook this. Really let those flavors get nice and concentrated. Absolutely. And then we add like the herbs. You can add like oregano, add rosemary, some uh, chives, you know, to make it look uh, nice. And um, then beside the butter, very important in the German kitchen, you will add some uh, heavy cream. Of course. And at the end, bring it to a uh, boil. So, says that that's your whole deal about the Jäger sauce. Now, if you don't mind, we go over there and beat up some schnitzels. <laughs> beat up some schnitzel, all right. Uh, so is this pork right here? Yeah, it's pork tenderloin. We just have to give some salt and pepper on it on both sides, and then we have to beat it up a little bit. You want that nice kind of uniform uh, thickness throughout, nice yeah, and thin. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, ha it has to uh, be a schnitzel and not a steak. So in the old days for the Jaeger schnitzel, I mean, they'd be going into the forest to hunt for the boars to make this dish, right? Oh yeah, absolutely, they did, you know. I mean, uh, back in the days, uh, we didn't have porks and pigs and cows at home, so we just went to the forest. That's how we created the word Jaeger schnitzel. But by now, I'm glad I can buy it and uh, <laughs> don't have any extra hours to go in the forest at night. Save you a trip, that's nice. Absolutely, um, yeah. So how do, you, uh, how do you pound this thing in? You, you just start on one side, turn it around. You are not messing around. So in Germany, we say you beat it down from $9 to $18, <laughs> you know, the size. All right, says you saw how I did it, so maybe you want to give it uh, a shot. Here's the hammer, just uh, go and do it. Hammer of Thor, all right, so we're gonna use the uh, the flat side here? Yes, you do the flat side, right, just well. do, the, do it. I'll go to town on it. Oh boy. Good stress relief right here. Yeah, absolutely it is. I haven't gotten it quite to $18 yet. I got a few more few more uh, strikes to go here. My boss is not paying you the extra hours until you finish, but you're doing just fine. All right, I think we got right. one we can uh, serve up at the restaurant Absolutely. right here. Absolutely. <laughs> the last step is like to bread it. You want to put it in flour, to weave it off, put it in egg, and then you put it in uh, the uh, Japanese panko breadcrumbs, and then we are ready to cook it. So the next step is cooking the schnitzel in butter and oil. And you will cook it for like four minutes and flip it around. The next step you do is do the side dishes. The red cabbages, basically caramelized sugar and salt. And the spätzle is like every noodle. You just have uh, eggs, flour and water. So after we plate it, the final step is ladle the Jäger sauce on the schnitzel. 
and then we will sprinkle on our garnishes. And then we will be all set. Mike, Dirk, thank you so much for letting me come back into the kitchen. This looks incredible, but and you guys are not messing around with this beer here. Oh, we're so happy to have you, uh, Seth. We definitely don't mess around with German beers. We source uh, great beers from Germany, beers you won't get anywhere else. Well, cheers to that. Or I should Prost. say, Prost. <laughs> Is a German way of saying Prost. it. Prost. 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 Finally, Prost. Let's drink. Oh, good. <sighs> I know the, sch the schnitzel is going to be a perfect accompaniment to that. Oh, let's dig in. All right. Got to make sure I get some of that Good. sauce in yep. this first bite, too. Oh, Dirk does a great job. What do you think? That is delicious. That sauce, it's got such a nice richness, and the mushrooms are so perfectly cooked. That's really wonderful. Thank you, sir. Great. Thank yeah. you very much. I like with the panko that you're able to get that nice, crispy crust but it still stays so nice and juicy and flavorful on the inside. Why I put the sauce in the middle is that you can have a look always on the crust, on the panko. You have like a mix of the texture of uh, the sauce in the middle and the uh, crusty, crunchy panko with the really tender cooked meat. What are some of these uh, other sides that go with it? Well, it's like uh, the Spätzle, it's like the German kind of noodles. And of course, the red cabbage, you know, the most uh, famous uh, side dish uh, in Germany. Next to sauerkraut. Next to sauerkraut. It's like a, a family secret, so I can't tell the recipe. Out. <laughs> I just love also the hearty portions, the beer, this plate of Jaeger schnitzel, this giant pretzel. I just like how you guys aren't skimping on the experience here. Right, that's actually, we have a German word for it. It's called Gemütlichkeit, which means a comfortable, homey place that you bring family and friends, and that's what we're about at the old sign-in. Glad you got to experience it. It's uh, Oktoberfest every day. Well, um, thank you guys again. Uh, shall we raise our glass? Absolutely. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit. Der Gemütlichkeit, ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. <laughs> Prost to that. Prost. Cheers to that. But now you have to drink it all. <laughs>